Alright guys, welcome to match number 3. Now, I actually did play, this is technically match number 4, but I played another match and like we just got land screwed the whole time. Like drew two lands, couldn't draw another land and it was just really boring to watch. So, let's just do one more round. Uh, this is a decent hand. I'm gonna keep it. It's got Goblin Arsonist turn 1, Liliana turn 3, or Read the Bones turn 3 if we can't draw lands. So, that's not bad at all. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get to go first. That does suck. So let's go Mountain, Goblin Arsonist. We've drawn our land so we can Liliana first. Now what we need to draw is a Sack Outlet, like a Bloodflow Connoisseur. That would be awesome because then you get to guarantee to flip Liliana, which is very, very powerful. And we just get to go to work attacking this guy's hand. Please don't have a turn to play, Fudge. Hmm, Perilous Mur. He might be playing the exact same deck as me. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, time to play nothing because we have no turn two play. I'm thinking turn two Lily, uh, turn three Liliana. Let's attack into this guy. Mm. No, we want Liliana to flip. So I'm gonna skip attack here because we want to have one creature around for Liliana to flip. So that's that's the plan. If he gets a sack outlet, that could be not great. Because even if he deals 2 damage to Liliana, she's a 2-3, so it wouldn't kill her. Um, again, I just want one creature around to try to flip Liliana. So we can discard stuff and get it back too with the Gravedigger, which is awesome. And I don't know if this guy's hand is ripe for discarding or not. So if he ever makes up his mind, Liliana turn 3. Ooh. So he's playing the exact, so this is the mirror match. So he's playing the exact same deck as us, and he got to go first, the bastard. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this deck does, you know, this deck is played every once in a while. It's pretty obvious synergy. Um, I'm not gonna block. I'll take one damage. I don't want to uh, trade off this guy yet. Now, the worst possible thing so he's already sacrificing, that's interesting, and he's just dealing it to me. That's very interesting. It's going to be craptastic if he has a traitorous instinct, that's going to be terrible for us. Um, we wouldn't block so we can, yeah, no, we. it's just awful. But if he, oh, I don't even know how it would work, okay. Hmm. Let's run out the blood flow connoisseur. Let's do that, because if he has Traitorous Instinct, he takes one of these guys, he takes the Bloodflow Connoisseur, and it's not the end of the world. If he would have taken the Liliana, I would be that would be not great, right? So let's play this in in like partic in the expectation that he has the Wombo combo. And let's pray he doesn't. Cause if his hand is anything as clunky as my hands usually are, hopefully he won't have the Wombo combo. And if he does it sucks because he steals that, but we can recover. We can recover decently easy. So let's see. Do you have it? Do you have Traitor's Instinct? Let's see the Traitor's Instinct. We can actually get whatever guy he kills. We can get it back with Gravedigger as well. So we've. Hopefully it'll. Okay, so just going to attack. So he doesn't have it, which is good. So he's just attacking. And. Do I trade off? Do I trade off? Because I can sacrifice this guy. I can block here. Sacrifice. I'll take your two damage. I don't care about that. I'm worried about any tricks he has. Because if he has a, a trick, it's kind of a blowout. Twin Bolt. Hey. All to this one guy. Alright. So it turns out we probably could have and should have played our Liliana. Which, let's do it now. <laughs> Better late than never. If we draw a land, we can get Leaf Winnower. I'm going to keep this guy back so I can block whatever. He basically can't attack because I can block and then Liliana flips. And the best part is if he somehow manages to kill Liliana, we can Gravedigger it back. So, let's see what happens. So he plays his own Goblin Arsonist. Not the end of the world. Bone splinters, you fucker. That sucks. 
He's oh shit, he sacrifices his guy first. Does that flip Liliana automatically? It might. It might just flip Liliana automatically before this resolves. Nope. This game's stupid. Deal damage to him. How does that not flip Liliana? It's like when another creature dies. Oh, it does. Look at this. Oh, the blowouts. The blowouts, you noob. Yes. We still get Liliana. Because he had to sacrifice his guy to cast this. And then now because the guy died, we get Liliana and the zombie. So now we are in excellent shape. We, this guy made a colossal error by playing that. That You know what? I shouldn't be dragging on this guy too much. That's a pretty hard interaction to read. But yeah, because you have to sacrifice a guy, because a guy dies just for you to cast this, Liliana flips while it's on the stack. This is very complicated MTG stuff, but the point is, is that it works. And what can we get back here? Bloodflow Connoisseur. What should we discard? Or we can just read the bones for a land. I like read the bones for a land. I like that a lot. So let's read the bones first, because then we can play the Winnower. Okay. I like this on top, because we have the combo in hand, and that's it. So hopefully, yes, we drew a land. That's fantastic. Um, we can plus Liliana and discard. Do we need bone splinters? I don't think so. Well, yeah, we, oh my goodness, what should we do here? We can minus Liliana, only minus one, and then get the Goblin Arsonist and Bone Splinters away. I like that. I like that. Minus one, get the Goblin Arsonist. Confirm, Liliana goes down to two. We get that back on the battlefield, and then we Bone Splinters, destroy his Connoisseur, sacrifice this guy, and deal a damage to him. That is a pretty good combo. I don't think he's... I'm going to err on the side that he's not playing anything with haste. So I'm going to attack with the zombie. That might be a little risky. And that's leaving Liliana open to to get killed here. But whatever. I, I Again, I, I can't... I mean, I'm not playing anything with haste in my deck. So I can't imagine he is either. And he's stuck on four lands as well. I mean, he might play a land right now. But he didn't play his fifth land. Traitor's Instinct. Fuck. That's what I should have been watching out for. So, he kills our guy with our own zombie. Do we have Liliana in here? Liliana's exiled, isn't she? She's gone. So that sucks. Or does she go into the graveyard now? Because it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, yes, she does. Okay, so we're still in great shape here because what we can do is we can... Gravedigger freaking back Liliana. Look at this. Confirm. Yes. So we can get her back and play her next turn. That is awesome. And the Connoisseur. So we can flip her immediately. I think we have enough. One, two, three. We have three, three. So we can play the Connoisseur and then play Liliana and make it so that if they try to kill Liliana, we just sacrifice something to the Connoisseur and instantly get back Liliana. That is awesome. So we are are in pretty decent shape we've got like combo combos for days so this is interesting flame show catter flame shadow conjuring so basically when you play something you can play a play a red and you get a token like an extra one of those things for um and it's only for the turn so let's play liliana let's play the connoisseur and then let's attack with these two guys that's an interesting addition. I don't know what that would do. What it does mean is like when you play a Goblin Arsonist, you pay an extra one, you get a copy, and then you exile it. Hold on. You exile it at the beginning of the accident when it dies. No, it would just exile, not die. So I don't know why he's playing this. Um, I mean, getting an extra guy would be really good. But then you have a board state like right now where you play it and it does nothing. Like so he either has follow-ups which will help him or he has absolutely nothing. So we'll see what happens. I do like the fact that we can guarantee to flip Liliana whenever we want. So depending on what he does, if he tries to kill it, we just sacrifice a guy and she flips instantly. So that's good. Okay, he found his land. 
which means he could be playing Winnowers too, which means he could play one and try to kill Liliana, in which case I'll flip it. What does, what are you getting? What are you getting with Necromantic Summons? Summon? So he's going to get a guy and it's going to get a plus one plus one counter on it or something. So he got back the Blood Flow Connoisseur. Whatever. In fact, this works out for us because he doesn't have enough mana. This is going to be a blowout. This, so this is, you know, this, the, I said this re deck requires a lot of puzzle pieces to work. You need a lot of things working together, but this shows the resilience. Like I had a lot of my guys die and I was able to get stuff back with Gravedigger, Liliana back, a Goblin Arsonist to do all this stuff. Like, so that's pretty awesome. Anyways, this guy's screwed because I'm going to Traitor's Instinct, his guy, and then it's going to be really not good for him. I'm going to be surprised if he doesn't leave. There we go. <laughs> Called it. Called it. Um, just to insult the AI player. Let's play this guy. No, I don't want to sacrifice because I I don't want um, Lilian to flip yet. Because I want Lilian to do two damage. I think this is enough. Two, four, five. Yeah, that's plenty of damage. And we won. So, grindy matchup. There's the mirror match, which is really interesting. We're basically playing the same deck. So, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Friday Night Magic number three, and I hope to see you next Friday.